Hi, everybody. It's 420 by my story. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell, you do. Right after this brief message from the coalitions against everything fun, including marijuana, though. Motherfucking son of a bitch! If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone. For the times they are changing. Hey Daryl, didn't they say people were witches and needed to be destroyed by being burned alive at one point in our history? I'm glad to see that some people come so far. Well, at least we're not being burned alive. Just shot, stripped, strapped, and shunned. <laughs> That's all. No biggie, right? You fucking pricks. I also want to add that we forgot to rate the drug documentary in the last episode. Dope. I never said we were perfect, just righteous. It was a 5 out of 5, by the way. Uh, there's just something soothing about Woody Harrelson's voice. <laughs> and now, it's time we had some real fun, so here's the next segment. Okay, just want to thank one of our subscribers, uh, Ice One Mania, mentioned us on their stoner show. So the least we can do is return the favor. So go check it out. That's Ice One Mania's channel. Be there, be square. It's shiznit. <laughs> Fuck, I'm jumping from generation to generation here. Now this could drive me insane. So, and I'm not sewing buttons on my underwear this time, Daryl. They keep getting caught in my pubes, so I'm using a zipper now. Yeah, that helps. We got a bleeder! Keep the pressure on, keep it on. Everybody get out of the way, please! 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 Please move out of the way, please! Move this is serious, people! Anyway again, holy fuck. If we miss answering anyone's comments, or may not respond immediately, uh, sorry, but it's for a good reason. And the reason is because I've created over 20 different stoner t-shirts that we think are funny and even witty, if only just a widow bit. And of course a few posters too. They're all originals and designed by me, and of course there will be baked potatoes ones, but a whack of various others too. Then. I've also written a shitload of pop parodies for songs, you know, like the ones we play for audio comedy. I also want to bring out a few books, animated cartoons, and a few other things to help spread the stoner message, if only in a humorous fashion. Then, if all goes well and money is made, I'm going to spend a whole bundle of that cash on improving the show, of course. And you might even get a new, sexier host. Uh, it's up to Daryl what he wants to do, though. Uh, but I can also use them to help them to set, uh, finish setting up. Now wait for it. The secret weapon. Ooh, scary, eh? I can't tell you exactly what it is, but I can tell you that it's a non-profit organization, so I won't be collecting any of the profits for myself. Well, maybe paid like everyone else that's running it, but that's it. You know, we'll see. Uh, if I make enough money off the shirts, I don't even care about that. I'm not greedy. Any J, uh, I believe, and I say believe, because I'm not stupid enough to think anything will necessarily turn out right. Uh, but you're watching, so it's a good start. Uh, anyway, again and again and again, uh, I believe that if the organization is successful and has enough members, it will help millions of stoners around the world, plus many others as well. It will also create a safe haven for stoners, Plus, we'll take an aggressive march towards cannabis legalization. Uh, while supplying good times for all, of course. It could be huge. It could be the biggest thing to happen to Stoner since uh, weed grinders. So stay tuned. Uh, it's a lot of work on my part, but it should be well worth it. 
Oh, and it's probably not like anything you may be thinking. Well, it won't be exactly the same anyway. Uh, it's going to be fucking sweet and if I get it up and running. I've already built the websites for the shirts and the organization. I just need to set up the rest of it. And for that, I need some money. A fair amount of it. Uh, so keep watching and let every stoner you know, know about this show. Uh, no? Well, it'll be fucking worth it if you do. Uh, to them and probably to you. I don't talk up my ass, so I'm not bullshitting you. It's not bullshit. That fucking editor is playing games again. Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> I must have been stoned again. Bye bye. Okay, 311 is an American rock band from Omaha, Nebraska, formed in 1988. Their musical structure incorporates a variety of musical styles including alternative rock, hip-hop, ska, reggae, and funk. Since their self-titled album in 1995, all but one of their albums, uh, the exception being live, have been in the top 15 of the Billboard 200. Six of their songs have been top five hits on Billboard's Modern Rock Tracks chart. Uh, we're playing Who's Got the Herb. It's available on the 311 Live album and the Hempelation Freedom is Normal soundtrack. Give it a listen. What are we hoping for? Since Amelia. Well, I'd say we got the herb they've been looking for, uh, but we actually have hash. <laughs> and although it's technically weed in a different form, they might be a bit picky about it. Uh, of course, I just smoke a, I smoke just about anything. Uh, good that is, but lots of people have their preferences, and some people won't touch anything else. Uh, those are the Frasers of the Stoner world. You know the TV show. I'm Pretty sure the soup is okay. White wine. What do you think? Will we make it? I won't lie to you, Daphne. It's bad. Anyway, that's it for the tunes for now. <laughs>